<clears throat> guys want to make a short video about uh, how I remove chainsaw flywheels. Uh, you don't need very many special tools. Some people have pullers for these. I'm going to show you a real easy way to do it though. What you're going to do is take some uh, plain Jane starter cord. You could even use nylon rope. If you had nylon rope, that would work just fine. And uh, after you've removed your spark plug, you're going to use this cord as a uh, piston stop. So we're going to thread that down into the piston or into the cylinder here, right on top of the piston, coil it up in there. And as you do this, you're going to make an area where the piston will compress against and not be able to move anymore. So as I roll this flywheel over now, it pushes up against that string and we're ready then to loosen this flywheel nut and I'm going to try to do it while this camera is in the way here got it <clears throat> got the flywheel nut loose and let me go ahead and spin that nut off just a little bit to show you that it's loose all right, right now the flywheel nut is loose and I'm going to leave it just loose and sitting on there. I'm going to show you what I do next. I take a center punch. This is a 3 8 inch prick punch that I got from somewhere. I don't know. But it fits right down into the divot that's inside of that uh, crankshaft on the end there. And I'm leaving my nut, my flywheel nut installed there, and I'm just going to take a hammer, that's what I got laying around, cheap hammer, and uh, I'll try to send some vibrations into that crankshaft. Just a couple swift taps, check it here, yeah, she's still stuck down, give it a couple more pops. Still stuck. Just like that, a few pops, that flywheel comes right off. So I'll take this time to clean that saw up. I'm going to pressure test that seal and hopefully have this thing back going in no time. Thanks for watching.